Why is this night different from all other nights? Why is this Passover different from all other Passovers? This year for Passover, we find ourselves sitting waiting for a plague. A plague that we pray does not affect us. A pray that we know will take the lives of many innocent people. And so tonight as we gather for our seders or as we sit at our seders alone, unimaginably, I ask that we think of the following. I ask that we remember that we have blood on our doorposts and blood on the lintel of our door. We have sacrificed. We have made the difficult choices for the Jewish future of our families and the Jewish future of our communities. We have sacrificed and there is blood. We have sacrificed on one doorpost. We have our mezuzah. We have chosen to live openly as Jews. We have not hidden in a world where it would be more convenient and easier to do so. And so on one doorpost, on the right side, if you will, we have our mezuzah, our willingness to live openly as Jews. On the other doorpost, as we might do if it were Hanukkah, we have our menorah, we have our holidays, we have our observances, we have our traditions and the lintel across the top of our door. There is blood there as well. The blood of the sacrifices of the Holocaust, the sacrifices for the land of Israel, our military, the sacrifices that we make, the sacrifices to live openly as Jews, the sacrifices to maintain our holidays, the sacrifices that we have made for our children, and for the future of the Jewish people, the sacrifices of the Holocaust in the state of Israel. These, these sacrifices, the blood of these sacrifices is on our doorposts and on our lintel. And so as we confront a Passover that is unlike all Passovers that have come before it, as we sit huddled, praying to be spared from an invisible plague, let us also act with great confidence. Yisrael no Shab Hashem, Shuat Olamin. The Jewish people are saved by God with an eternal redemption, with an eternal salvation. We place our faith and our trust in God to protect us and to protect those around us. As we contemplate the blood and the sacrifices that have been made, we also need to keep in mind the sacrifices and the blood of the people who are on the front lines of this battle, our healthcare workers, our first responders, people who have volunteered and sometimes traveled great distances to help others, who have sacrificed separation from their family in order to be able to provide the health care that people need. Their sacrifices adorn our doors as well on this Pesach. And so let us pray that on this Pesach, the sacrifices that we have made and others have made, the sacrifices of the Jewish people and the sacrifices of our nation, stand us in good stead as we prepare once again this evening to celebrate Pesach, a Pesach that is different, one that is huddled in fear of plague, but one in which we also stand strong in our commitment to those things that have always protected us and will continue to protect us. And again, our endless thanks to those people who are making the sacrifices to take care of those among us who are ill and who are in great need. We thank all of them as well. And in the security of that which is on our doorposts, in the security of our sacrifices as a Jewish people and as a nation, we pray to God that we will come through this Passover, this plague, and this difficult time stronger, 
healthier and with a greater trust, a greater devotion, and a greater appreciation for God and all of the blessings that he has bestowed upon all of us. Chag Sameach should have a beautiful Pesach and that the sacrifices of this Pesach should lead in future years to even more beautiful Passovers than we have ever known. Chag Sameach.